Okay, it's beer o'clock on BLL Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie St. Bernardus and it is the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale coming in at 10% ABV. Picked this up in my local bottle shop in Cardiff. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Did I mention it was 10% ABV? Bingo. Wow, again, look at that mesmerizing smoke on the opening. Beer pouring out. Again, that classic Belgian fizz. It's nice and dark in the glass. You want that this time of year. Look at that. Looks like it's just been poured from a bar in Belgium, a cafe bar in Belgium. Look at that. Nice big frothy head. Three fingers of tan coloured head. Dissipating. It is dissipating quite quickly. The beer in the glass is a deep dark Mmm, it's a, it's a, I'd say, yeah, I'm going to say mahogany, really dark timber, it looks like it's dark chestnut timber or a mahogany. <clears throat> nice carbonation, the beer is generally quite clear, it is bottle conditioned but it's not really hazy, but I'm going to stick my nose into this beer and see what we get. Quite literally. And again, it's floral. It's flowery. It's sweet. It's candied sugar. Lemon. Even a bit of lime. A bit of spice. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Wow. And it's hoppy. Really hoppy on the back end. This is a bit of a Stone the Crows beer. Stone the Crows. It's that lemon and lime pushes through the middle of the beer. It kind of jumps along and says, get out of my way. I'm coming through. It parts the beer in two. Before that, I was picking up just that explosion of carbonation with a kind of yeasty, malty, sweet taste. Then, as I said, that lemon and lime cut through the middle of the beer, pushed it all apart, and then faded quite quickly. And then on the back end of the palate, God, I'm dancing with my hands today, aren't I? Um, on the back end of the palate, it just leaves you with a fantastic bitter sweet hoppy finish that is wonderful wonderful really good Ooh. yeah exactly what i just mentioned it's just happened again and that's consistent. If, it, if you're getting the same thing over and over, it's consistent. I do look for other aspects of flavours, but it's that lovely, it's a spicy bitterness on the back end and it bites. It's a biting, rasping, fruity apple. I'd say, yeah, there's apple in there. It's a pear bitterness. It's good. I like it. And for Ted, you'd never know. This is the thing, I hear so many people come back from Belgium and they say, oh I went into this cafe bar and I ordered a beer 
just pick one off the menu. And I was sipping away and I was wondering why I was getting quite merry. And it was only when they looked back at the menu or they had a look at the pump clip that they were drinking a, a 7, 8, 9, 10% or more beer. And it's funny because it just proves that these beers drink so well. And their comments always are that they, they're sitting in a bar, the beer's going down really quick and they, they don't understand or they don't realise just how strong the beer is. And that's a testament to the quality of good Belgian beer how it's brewed, how it's kind of maintained and the quality that goes into their beer. So um, I'm wrapping up 2013 really with a, a big thank you to our Belgian cousins to say what a fantastic brewing nation you guys have got and long may it continue. So St. Bernardus Christmas Ale and a 10% ABV. I'm going to give you my final thoughts and a rating. Yeah, it's class. It's class in a glass. It's everything I've mentioned. I don't want to go over it all again. You've heard me. And if you haven't heard me, if you've missed things, just rewind it a bit. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. It's lovely. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily bit. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Merry Christmas 2013 and cheers!